guys, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well. I am doing an update today on my Ashitaba, which I posted a video a couple years back uh, talking about all the health benefits of this plant and how to identify a true Ashitaba because there's a few varieties out there that's part of the Angelica family. So if you want to know more information about this, I'll leave a link below to my previous video. Let me tell you when the Ashitaba started producing the flower stalk. Generally, this plant doesn't really take off until its second year. Be sure to provide rich organic compost so your plants will grow big and healthy. Also, the soil likes to stay moist, but don't overwater because that can cause root rotting. So far for me, I water them about once every other day or even once every two or three days depending on how warm the day is and how dry the air gets. If you can't tell if your plants need water, just stick your finger in the soil about a half inch down. Um, the soil, you know, if it's still kind of moist, you don't have to water it or if you want to water, just do half the amount than you usually do. When the plant gets big enough, it'll send a tall flower stalk from the center. See that part bulging out? That is the early stage of the flower stalk, my friend. The flower stalk is extremely sensitive to direct sunlight too. Here in Southern California, these plants were only getting morning sun, but even that was enough to burn some of the flower buds. We had a quite a hot summer. So it's best to grow them under a shade cloth or a patio space with uh, somewhere with a cover if you're in a hot region like me or, you know, in a desert area. When these flowers are in bloom, they bring ladybugs and sometimes butterflies. These flowers simulate clusters of stars, just so beautiful, much like the flowers of fennel and dill. When the seeds dry on the stalk, be sure to plant them soon after because old seeds can be difficult to germinate. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!